This episode is brought to you by Good Omens, a new series premiering May 31st on Amazon Prime Video. This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. Before you catch Men in Black International in six months on cable or on an airplane or something, check out the film that started it all and the other two that just kept doing it. The Men in Blacks. Suit up for three sci-fi comedies set in an alternate reality where the United States accepts refugees and join the Men in Black. Galaxy Defenders. They're agents who operate with no accountability. What branch of the government do we report to? Well, none. They ask too many questions. Delete people's memories. Keep everyone under surveillance. Operate secret prisons. And beat the aliens they police within an inch of their lives. I'm gonna count to three. Oh, no, 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 So it's a screwball comedy about the deep state only in the 90s. Computer, internet. Welcome to New York. Land of A-Holes. Please. But some of these A-Holes are aliens who get to live undercover as major celebrities. Everyone on those screens is an alien. What about that position you promised me in Men in Black? You're breaking up. I can be Agent M. Ethnic stereotypes. <laughs> Mikey? <laughs> or, yeah, it's really just one of those two. They'll have to deal with Agents J and K, played by an increasingly lumpy Tommy Lee Jones, and Will Smith at the height, plateau, and depth of his powers. <laughs> okay, Will, for this scene, think about how you just start in seven pounds. LOL at J and K in the first film, where K shows J the ropes while being hunted by a villain who can kill people instantly, unless you're the heroes, as they search for an all-powerful device that was right under their nose all along. The second one, where Jay shows K the ropes while being hunted by a villain who can kill people instantly, unless you're the heroes, as they search for an all-powerful device that was right under their nose all along. What? I'm the light? And the third one, where Jay goes back in time to show K the ropes while being hunted by a villain who can kill people instantly, unless you're the heroes, as they search for an all-powerful device that was yada yada yada. Are, are we sure we want more sequels to this thing? I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answer to. But it's not just familiar plots. Get ready for three films with the same three jokes, like the one where aliens be horny. Keep an eye on her for me. I keep both of them on her. Why don't you sit right here? The one where big things seem small and small things seem big. Just because something's important doesn't mean it's not very, very small. Oh, hey! And the one that will make you ask, how many riffs could a Will Smith riff since a Will Smith riffs real good? Well, yeah, you know, could because he, he never appreciated you anyway. How would I feel if somebody come running in the in gym fact, and bust me in my ass while I'm on a treadmill? You and I saw kicked a little tip him out. And now a man gonna going come bashing through the back of a subway when that's the problem with you. Just because you see a black man driving in a nice car does not mean it's stolen. I stole that. Y'all just sitting there like a Okay, question answered. So flash back to an era when summer movies were more than just film. They dominated all pop culture with their own toys, tie-in sunglasses, video games, cartoon series, and of course, smash hit rap singles from the star over the credits. Uh, here come the MIBs. Followed by a moderate hit rap single for the sequel. Let me see you bop your head, nod your head, come on! Followed by a generic Pitbull song. Huh. Diminishing returns like that kind of sums up the whole franchise. Uh, nah. <laughs> nah, girl. Starring. <laughs> Will Illuminati confirm. No Country for Old Spacemen. Snakes in a Dame. Thin O's. Jackass 2. What he chew in the shadows. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. Bug life. Papa Roach. And goo. Oh, looks like you got some entrails on you there, pal. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Look out! Oh, man, he killed your dad. If only you had some kind of time machine.
in your pocket. You have a time machine in your pocket. This episode was brought to you by Good Omens, a new series premiering May 31st on Amazon Prime Video. My God, Zilla. You could not live with your own failure. And where did it bring you? Back to me. Long live the king. Pika Pika.